JJ Jinx. Truck stop. Ho, ho, ho! I just got back from the North Pole. I got a bunch of stuff to open, and I want to just share it with you. Lucky you, right? <laughs> First one is a gift I got from my brother, and he requested that I do it on camera. I'm going to use the Buck 110 with ebony handle scales that I got from Smoky Mountain Knife Works in one of those officer care packages. Um, just to say that I broke it in a little. Back in the sheath you go. 110 is now broken in. Uh, thank you. I will enjoy these immensely. <laughs> Alright, now the trick is to get whatever this thing is out without spilling all the popcorn. Can it be done? Oh, oh I lost one. Not bad. Only one fell out. Handle with care. Fragile. Do not drop. Thank you. Oh no, there's popcorn in this too. Oh my god. <laughs> it appears to be the statue of uh, David. And the head has been made in my likeness. <laughs> Oh, this is fucking awesome. Yeah, I can see the resemblance. <laughs> well, thank you, my brother. This is fucking amazing. I you got the proportions just right. Well, that's my brother for you. This is exactly the kind of thing that he would get for me. J.J. Jinx, Slayer of Giants. <laughs> well, thank you very much, my brother. It's going to go on one of my shelves on prominent display. I've never had a statuette of myself. This is probably the best present I've gotten in years. <laughs> I was wondering when he randomly asked me for a bunch of photos of my face. I figured he was getting me one of those, um, like, put your face in a painting things that have been advertised on social media a lot lately. And I was like, yeah, I'm cool with that. But this, this really takes the cake. How did they do this? I think it's 3D print. Yeah, I can see the, the 3D print lines. You can really see them on the base of this thing. That's a neat look. I like it. I might as well stop opening presents. That, that's, nothing can top that. Yeah, I wish my butt looked like that. 